What's up everyone, Nick here. I'm actually in Wallops, Virginia. I'm here at Wallops Flight Facility. Um, see some space stuff, how the spaceships are built, the electronics, sheet metal, a lot of other stuff. So uh, come and join me. We'll, uh, we're going to see some interesting stuff here. Let's do this. Locations, uh, uh, antennas, uh, and you can barely see, but hard to see over this hump. This is the eastern end of 1028, and as we sweep around and Bobby turns us to the left, we're going to run parallel to 1028. Uh, the uh, the north-south runway is the one that the E2s and C2s do their uh, training on. All these uh, little dishes that are pointed up with that, that's called the bird bath position, um, are used intensively for Navy aircraft out of Pax River. Uh, aircraft have just simply, I don't see any airplanes parked outside today. Oh, there's a C-130. Um, they've got a, a 1965 single-engine Huey Vietnam era. Uh, I've ridden that a couple times, that's fun. Um, this big guy nearest to the road is actually tracking a, a, a spacecraft, which is in L1 position, the operation uh, point, to pick up Sarah. So back there is the uh, visitor center. station, uh, the canine unit, check the bus for anything. Hey buddy. You love the tension. She going main and uh, mm -hmm. So, only 62 miles. It's mm. As soon as you come in, you have to put your safety goggles, safety glasses on. If you're not wearing glasses already. Alright guys, so this is like basically the warehouse, the mechanical portion of the trip. And make the sheet metal and all that other stuff, put the holes. metal through.
whole the pattern is straight in here. The whole pattern from the only foot to close on the outside lamp. So it's everything on the inside and then so it's everything on the outside lamp. And then the part just dropped out. These stainless steel flat hold it up. It's always going in the tank. Um, the stainless steel flat because I do have a bunch of steel on here. So that portion was the engineering part of the tour. Question was, yeah. is that? Uh, we do everything from a single stage like that single stage black brand up there, uh, to a four stage vehicle, uh, like the one hanging on the front end. Nelson Lawson Coke Class recent training, uh, Alaska, Um, you could probably hit it with a car. Uh, so that's a ballast section. So it serves... It weighs like 1,500 pounds, he said. Uh, in this case, uh, this is for a mission that's gonna launch because we can recover all our uh, car payload will go on the uh, lens tack to our giant telescope. So in space, uh, the space uh, telescope goes up, and then at some time, at some altitude, it will align with the target that it wants to look at. So I think you guys are looking at a distant uh, remnants of a supermoon. It's uh, some, I don't know, 11 light years away or something like that. Um, and then the lens tack opens, or opens. They can get their images, take their data. It's all telemeter back to Earth real time. Uh, we gather it on the ground, uh, and then the lens cap will close uh, as it re-enters the atmosphere to protect the object. Uh, uh, the general uh, here is the balance uh, uh, There's a condition there where you need to be balanced. Uh, if, if you're not balanced a little, and when you alternate AC current through them, it causes the inner one to vibrate, right? Just like the speakers in your car work a very similar way. So as the speaker vibrates, it displaces air and makes sound. Um, so inherently, these things are loud. Uh, but that's not really their purpose. Uh, we are trying to vibrate the electronics and shake them. Uh, the trip on a sounding rocket, uh, strap them and make sure it works. So as you can see, they have their own little cafeteria here, salad bar, soups, there's your ice cream there in the corner, and a pizza. Whatever you can get here. Seating, and back there is the gift shop. So basically I got a hot dog. Peanut butter cookie and a Pepsi. That's it. Each flag represents the workers from other countries that work here. Alright, guys, so basically, she said that our tour guide said we're heading into their mission control. As we know, mission control is in Houston, Texas. But this is their mission control here at Wallops Flight Facility. So here it is, guys. Alright guys, I'm sitting down. So.
sealed prior to launch. Um, so they can always go back, especially if there is an anomaly of some kind. Uh, um, and it was, I believe, just last week, merged and became Orbital ATK, and now has been bought out by Northrop Grumman. Um, they went about building a rocket in a slight... All these phased array radars on that plate, and you tune the phasing of the electricity just right, that power, right, we might hit him once a second. Somebody's coming at us, we think he's hostile, he's low, he's fast, he's coming at us, we'll hit him a hundred times a second, because time is the enemy of missiles and airplanes. Now this is a, a photograph of a, an Aegis destroyer underway. Almost every time you see anybody on CNN talking on the, the Zeb Barfield and the machine shop said, don't, I'm sure they'd be glad to let them go. Yeah. We all know about Frag Mighties there in Ocean Pines, don't we? In this building, it engineers systems to go to their ship to take it out for the first time, and we do what's called in-service, which fixes problems that people report. So it's, it's all done with the systems the, the, and the crew that are in there. Sir, um, well, let's see. The the new, well, the new destroyers are being built in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and Bath, Maine. And now, of course, the foreign. Okay.